Okay, this is Dr. Shazia Haider, and we're over at Rosina's European Medical Spa in Redlands, and I'm here with my model, Asma. And uh, Asma is 52, so um, we are going to today be doing a full facial rejuvenation on her using uh, hyaluronic acid products and uh, neuromodulators. So I'll go into detail what those are. So if you come around and just look at her face, at the age of 52, um, I would expect her to have at least a 25 to 50 cc volume loss. That means from the age of 25, every year from there on, we lose one to three cc's of volume loss, whether it's from our skin, um, from hyaluronic acid, collagen, uh, bone, um, muscle. So all these things we're losing from our face. So over time, our face starts kind of going downwards and that's what the main job of today is really going to be do, doing some lifting so I'm going to be using hyaluronic acid products which last um, anywhere up to a year and some last up to two years so this is the work I'll be doing I will be <clears throat> injecting product along here into the temples where she is hollow. You can see where she's hollow. And along here, which is the outer part of the brow area, which will be lifting this area. Um, also the same on the other side. And then from the mid face will be, she has a nice, nice bone structure, really nice high, cheekbones so we don't need to do very much uh, volumization in this area except in the middle where there is a little bit of volume loss you can literally see that that doesn't match here so I will just be coming in and doing a little bit of um, volumization here just to help and on both sides increase the volume where we don't have volume and then um, although her skin is, is very nice and, and very tight, we will also be de dealing with the jowls, which are minimal in her case, but again, it's because of skin falling. Once we start working at the top, we'll have a good idea of what we need to deal with. It may be a lot less than we think. So once we start lifting here, we will have, a, and, and in the mid face, we'll have a good idea of what's left. Maybe there'll be nothing left. But if there is, then we'll be injecting a little bit of filler along here just to help with the jowls. And also on the other end, some volumization in this area. So around the jowl area. And then injecting, um, lastly, once we've injected all of from the upper and the mid face, then we'll be dealing with anything that's going on here. A lot of people like to jump straight into the nasolabial folds uh, when really those are created because of other issues going on further up. It's basically gravity over time, the tissue is falling down. So you can see how as tissue falls down, now you've got nasolabial folds. So it's nice to deal with the cause of the nasolabial fold rather than just jumping straight into it. So if we need to, then this also can be injected mm -hmm. by itself. And also this area becomes very hollow, what we call the marionette lines. It gives the impression that the ends of the mouth are drooping downwards. Again, once we've done a lot of mid-face lifting, it, that may not be the case. Nonetheless, I can already tell that there will be, I can see I can stick my fingers right in there and there's a lot of volume loss. So we will be wanting to inject here and here so that we can get the volumization. And then lastly, once we're done with all the once we're done with all the filling, we will be injecting uh, frown for me. Frown, go ahead and frown. There we go. Okay, so these are the um, frown muscles. This is, and you can relax, I know it's a lot of work. Um, this is the procerus muscle right in the middle. 
and then the corrugator muscles, medial and lateral corrugators. And relax your face. So I will be injecting in here, 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 on there and there. That will relax the frown lines. And then the forehead will also be injecting, you have to be very careful injecting uh, Dysport into the frown lines because uh, it can cause asymmetry of the eyebrows and we certainly don't want that to happen. Um, so I will be just very carefully doing tiny drops of uh, neuromodulator along here and I'm gonna just kind of sprinkle it around with really small uh, amounts and then lastly give me a big smile big 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 smile and you can see these little lines the little crow's feet lines which come out there and you relax and I will be injecting that area too okay on both sides all right, so we will be getting going in a moment.